Now we're gonna solder the wire to our thermistor for our heat bed. You're gonna utilize one of the connector wires that was provided, red and black with a connector and it looks like this. Now we're gonna secure our thermistor with captain tape to the bottom side of the heat bed. The bottom side of the heat bed is the side of the heat bed that does not have the LED. I advise using two strips of captain tape. This way it's less likely to come loose. Using proper soldering techniques, solder your heating bed. Now you want to run your wires through the holes on the bottom of the board. Now to mount the heating bed to the board, you're gonna need four M3 by 10 millimeter bolts and four M3 nuts. Be sure you don't over tighten these on the heat bed to avoid damaging the heat bed. For this step, we're going to use four M3 by 20 millimeter bolts, four spacers, and you'll utilize the M3 nuts that we left on the bottom spacer earlier in the build. You may recall that we suggested that you keep the bolts loose that are connected to your power supply and the frame. This is where that will come into play. So go ahead and get your heat bed. You want to line up your mounting screws in a position that lines up with the holes that are on your board. Your wires are going to be laying to the back side of the board. Your back side of the board is going to be the side where these two triangular cuts. You might need to move around your power supply a bit in order to be able to line up your four spacers. Once you have your, the alignment you want, remove your bed and tighten down all the mounting screws for your power supply. You want to line up and bolt down one at a time. Keep it loose enough where you can slide it around so you can connect the other ends. Once you have your four bolts slightly screwed in, you want to make sure your board is as centered as possible. Once you feel confident that the board is centered, tighten the bolts down firmly. 